For this favorite object, we are going to look at the constituent email regarding the 2010 Urban Farming Ordinance. Email collections are important historical records, not only because they record the inner workings of city government, but also because more and more city residents are using email instead of pen and paper to make their voices heard. Richard Conlon was council president at the time of the proposed urban farming ordinance, and many constituents wrote to his account. The ordinance included several changes, expanding zoning for community gardens and urban farms, creating development standards, but most notably increasing the number of chickens allowed from three to eight. Council member Conlon stated, these code changes will strengthen our community food security. One of the most common issues regarded increasing the number of chickens. One writer concerned about irresponsible owners wanted to make sure chicken owners know what they're doing. They should have a license or certificate showing they've taken a chicken raising class that teaches them how to care for the birds. Another stated the consequence of changing this will cause suffering in chickens. Fresh eggs are available throughout the city at farmers markets. The question of roosters sparked considerable opinion. Please do not let roosters be a part of the urban farm bill for the obvious reason. They do not sleep in. Bill Lawrence of the Seattle and King County Environmental Health Division wrote, in addition to noise concerns, roosters are often aggressive towards people and that prohibiting roosters should help control the keeping of fighting cocks. One person wrote in their opposition based on a slippery slope argument. First come the chickens and then the cows. While many were opposed, some were quite enthusiastic about more chickens in the city. We benefit from their eggs and our neighbors have commented that they enjoy hearing the periodic clucking or egg song cackling as it lends bucolic peace to the neighborhood. In discussion about the ordinance, compromise was reached as seen in this internal email to city staff from Richard Conlon. I have asked to include the prohibition on roosters in the revised version. The relatively small number of current roosters will be grandfathered in. The ordinance was passed and urban farmers may now keep up to eight chickens. New roosters are prohibited. Mm. Later on, Councilmember Collin continued to choose chickens over roosters when asked about his meal choice at an upcoming event. Let's go chicken, but not a rooster. To learn more about the history of urban farming in the city or how to search our email collections, contact the archives at archives.seattle.gov.